Hey yo, this is Harry Shotter, all up in the whip, getting ready to go talky for some more drum and bass mania. Happy Christmas to all the DMB Diaries crew. Hope you have a good one. Keep the DMB alive, that's how we're moving it. Shutter. going because so many people love this music um, it's such a special genre bringing so many people together from all sorts of backgrounds uh, with all sorts of different influences it's mo one of the most underrated music I think ever in British music you know what I mean people still harping on about that one album that the Sex Pistols did they're highly you know they're heralded in every way but no one really talks about drum bass it's like it's a dirty word but it's been running 22 years independently now you know what i mean we should be proud of this like the hip like sorry we should be proud of this like um the americans are proud of hip-hop they're like we created this they hold it up they're proud of it they make sure it owns the planet whereas the british ain't doing that and subliminally me people don't even know about drum and bass they're hearing it everywhere on tv adverts you know a car drive by it's, it's drum and bass or it's jungle it's everywhere and i think it really should be looked after but it feels like we don't need that special effort no more, you know what I mean? It's 22 years, it's a test of time, it's outlived garage music, it may live, outlive other genres that are around now. I think it really was, so I, I, I don't think we know real commercial input. I think we're doing pretty well on our own. Well, again, it's global now. We've created lots of careers, promoters, producers, DJs all around the world. If house, hip hop, all these things are allowed to exist, why should drum and bass not be allowed to exist? It's a really pivotal, important music from the UK that was made, you know, out of a couple of DJs deciding to do a different mix and, you know, coming from... I mean, now it's it, it, it's amazing that it's so global, you know what I mean? And, you know, I, I even would dispute older people going, oh, I can't listen to drum and bass anymore. I've got to go to house now. And no, you don't. If you want to come and rave, I mean, that's again the thing in Europe. You see 50, 60 year old people in Europe still raving. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't be afraid, you older people. <laughs> keep going. If you love this music and you still want to be involved with it, why not? Boy, it's important to keep drum and bass going, man. This is the music that I've kind of grown up with. It's the music that inspired a lot of my rap stuff, even in the early days. It made my hip hop stuff different because I was listening to so much Skibbity, Dead and Shabba. You know, drum and bass is that legendary UK music that's gone all over the world. You know, you go to Canada and like, where the stars out there, do you know what I'm saying? Or we go to like Australia and you know, it's a big thing, man, drum and bass. And drum and bass has got so many different styles. It's got so much stuff to offer from the jump up side of things, from the MC inside of things, all the way down to kind of, you know, the more musical side of things. I just heard a new Wilkerson tune the other day. It was crazy, man, do you know what I mean? So just like hip hop and just like the other genres, very many different styles of drum and bass. So if you're not into the liquid, you can get into the dark style, the jump up. It's very versatile and I think it's important to keep it going, man. The thing is, is it won't die because it's been around for nigh on 20 years and it will just keep progressing, you know, it will just keep new formulating and, and it will it'll end up being something else. What it is now, it will be something else in six months time. But the beautiful thing, it will always be drum and bass. You know what, there isn't even a, a that, in, in a way it's not even a question because it's here to stay, that is it now. There's no keeping it going or getting rid of it, you know. Drum and bass is, it's got its roots, foundation, you know, deep, 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 deep. It's never going away. It'll go up and it'll go down. It'll come in and out of fashion along the way. But it's here forever now. Like country and western is, like punk music is, like you know, all the different kind of music. Some are big, some are small, but they're here forever. And drum and bass, it's here forever. Is it important to keep it going? No, it's not important to keep it going. It just will exist on its own. Fire get burned, many left. 
lessons to learn Now the tables have turned I think it's... I don't think people are so... Um, I've got an allegiance to one particular sound or genre like they used to. I guess it's just there's more exposure. People are exposed to more kinds of different music and everyone's kind of finding what they really like. Whereas when I first started going out, there was kind of like three or four scenes and that was that. And I chose drum and bass. I think some of the producers and some of the artists are moving into different underground genres as well as drum and bass is because, you know, we're music people, man. It's like me, I listen to a lot of hip-hop. Everyone knows this, like, rap, hip-hop kind of stuff. Also grime. I like dubstep, so I think a lot of the guys are the same. I think a lot of the producers are into other styles, and I think if they're musicians, why shouldn't they be able to, like, experience with them styles and kind of, you know, do their thing over there and then coming back and do their thing in drum and bass, just like you're chasing statuses and all that. Obviously, some people have moved strictly away from drum and bass. That's their prerogative. Me, personally, I love doing the other stuff, but I'll never leave the drum and bass thing as well. That's what I'm doing. I've got a big passion for it, you know? I guess as a producer, you're constantly learning and you want to push yourself. So experimenting with different tempos outside of drum and bass, it it's, seems quite natural to me. Um, but I mean, I'm into all different kinds of music anyway, and I DJ different kinds of music. I don't just play drum and bass, um, which I've kind of put a lot more focus on over the last like five years or so, just because I've always loved house um, and other styles of dance music. So I guess that's where the producers are coming from as well, they want to experiment. Some people are more of the sheep mentality and they might want to try something just because it's become really popular all of a sudden. I don't know, maybe they think they've reached all they can do creative-wise in drum and bass, they want to try something new. Um, some people will say the grass is greener, there's more money to be made in other genres. Um, and some people just grow out of drum and bass. They got into it, they've done what they did and wanted to do something new, I guess. But yeah, it's, I think it's good that people are sort of getting into other stuff as well, because, well, you know, but you can, you can, you know, play around with that stuff and then bring it back into your drum and bass, you know, so it's always going to push people forward. People buy more records for a start. <laughs> um, yeah, basically putting money back into it. Um, that's, that goes for music as a whole, but that's what I'd like to see. People supporting um, what people are actually doing, because if they don't, then yeah, there's less creativity, less, less of a scene. Boy, what I'd like to see happen with drum and bass is it just it just evolves, man. It just, you know, and there's new and different things coming into the scene. New MCs coming in, new producers, do you know what I'm saying? The forefathers have built such a wicked foundation and they're still out there doing it now, but I think we definitely need the fresh blood to come in. And, you know, we need the new MCs out there as well as the old school guys. We need the new producers coming with new sounds that are influenced by all the other genres and stuff out there. And I think it just needs to grow. Even with the nights, starting, I was speaking to Skibbity about it the other day. We started, to, I mean, he had some mad ideas. <laughs> but that was out in Amsterdam anyway, so I think that's why the idea ideas were a bit crazy but um, you know different genre, different nights different ways of flipping the nights rather than it being the same old kind of the DJs the MCs here you go the same old night again it's like it's a WWF tour around the country with the same lineup do you know what I'm saying we need to switch up those kind of things but I think all those things are going to happen I think like there's a lot of visionaries on the scene there's a lot of people that are going to push it further and do new things with it so I think as long as things don't get stuck in a rut I think drum and bass is going to keep evolving and moving forward and still trends like setting the trends worldwide you know yeah, just, just for it to get the credit it deserves, for people to not, for, for everyone to be able to make an informed choice as to whether they like it or not, to not just say, oh it's all too fast, or oh it's all really noisy, or oh it's all drug music for kiddies and blah blah blah, you know, they can make an informed choice, they can make an, have a bit more of a balanced opinion on what it actually is. I can't really ask for more than that, I wouldn't like to say that yeah everyone, I want everyone to love it because it's not for everyone, but I honestly believe that the majority of people who have even had some kind of dalliance and experience with drum and bass, it's only been a passing one and they've made, they formed an opinion on a snap judgment of it. And yeah, they could, they could do with knowing a lot more about it. So for it to get the credit it deserves.